Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, Time to praise God. Yes. It, at church, anyway. It, it should have woke up this morning praising Him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So your eyeballs opened up. Thank you, Lord. Good to see everyone. Go ahead and get started. At last, man, did my Savior be? Let's go. 
But it's good. Yeah. Because God is good. Yeah. They say they always save the best yep. for last. Right. I got to give thanks to my wife. Yep. She was gone all day yesterday. <laughs> give me time to prepare myself for this morning. I'm just glad that God brought her back home. Right. Safe and sound, because she had the food in the back of my truck. I, mean, I, mean, I, I was really waiting on that. So. But God is still good. Y'all know me, I'm not going to hold you long, but I do have the word from the Lord. reading from the English Standard Version. I'm reading from the New International Version. But first I want somebody to read from the King James Version. As we stand, I need one person to read the King James, and that is 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. The fourth chapter, the eighth and the ninth verse. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the eighth and the ninth verse. Will somebody read from the King James Version? We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Read, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. We are hard pressed on every side. All right. But not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. All right. Amen. I want to talk about don't give up. Right. Amen. Right. Turn to your neighbor and say, whatever you do, Of divine power. 
but rather it is the manifestation of divine power through human, through human weakness. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is in all our afflictions, yeah. we are more than conquerors right. Yeah, right. by God's power and love. Yeah. And that our weakness, troubles, and sufferings open us up to Christ's abundant grace and allows his life to be revealed in our bodies. What I'm saying is don't give up. Yes, yeah. When our outward circumstances yeah. become unbearable yeah. and your human resources are exhausted, God's resources are given to expand our faith, hope, and strength yeah. in him. That's right. God will never forsake us. Psalms 37, 25 says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Uh, are you still asking yourself, is life really worth the living? Uh, do you still feel like your back is against the wall? And you just either want to throw in the towel I throw your hands in the air and say the heck with it all. Do you feel like running and hollering down the street screaming at the top of your lungs saying, I give up, I'm done, I'm through, you can hide it, let me out of here, but I stopped by to tell you this morning, in the midst of it all, don't give up. Somebody 
look at us and even look at us cockeyed. We get all in the teeth if somebody's talking about our clothes. We get all in the teeth. But let me tell you something. All those are trivial things. Set your focus on Jesus Christ. Say, any man that says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added. So look, don't worry about what Jim and Jane is saying. What you do is press toward the mark of the high call of the calling God. Whatever. that you had scared was me. Well, I said, I think I even ran that red light at one full road trying to get out of here uh, to see you. I said, but let me tell you something. I've seen what God can do. Come on. Stand your ground. Take your time. And whatever you do, don't give up. And God is trying to tell somebody right now that people may be talking about you. People may be your people may be playing all kind of evenings get you, but guess what? Ah! Jesus still sits high and still looking low. I'm telling you this morning, don't give up. Ah! Ah! Well, as I move on and I'm just about done, Paul said that every time I go to do good, yeah. the evil yeah. is present with yeah. me. Let me tell you something, folks. There are wolves dressed up. And she clothing, running like a lion, walking about seeing who we they can devour. They don't care nothing about you. When you step out your door in the morning, when you step out your door in the morning, turn around, look behind you, even look in front of them. But guess what? They coming at you, but what you do is be like, ah, duck and dive. Throw them the fury darts at you. Duck and dive. But whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. And the reason I say don't give up is because we serve a God that's bigger than you and I. Paul said that he was, uh, even though all the trials and tribulations that he went through, he leaves a prime example for us. He says we're troubled on every side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yet we're not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. He says we're cast down, but not destroyed. My for you, my life is that when you feel that you're in in this type of situation, when you are troubled, don't give up. When you are distressed, uh, don't give up. When you are perplexed, uh, don't give up. When you are persecuted, don't give up. When you feel like the world is against you, put some strife your strut and some pep in your step and don't uh, give up. Uh, when things go wrong uh, as they sometimes will, uh, don't uh, give up. Uh, when the road you are traveling uh, seems to be downhill, uh, look to the hill uh, for coming all in your hip uh, and don't They spit on him, uh, they whipped him, uh, they 
talked about him, but guess what? He never gave up. I said he never gave up. Can't you see Jesus walking up Calvary Cross, carrying it over on your cross? He never gave up. I said he nailed his hands to the cross, nailed his feet to the cross, pressed him in his side, put a crown of thorns on his head.
may heaven smile on you and lift up on high to say. Amen.